Hey guys, so I recently entered a little competition online to see what you could create with one bag of concrete. Concrete has really grown in popularity over the last few years as a DIY material. A couple of reasons for that would be that it's a very hard wearing material and also it has a beautiful texture and color uh, when it cures. But for my design, I wanted it to be driven more from a structural understanding of concrete. So what could concrete do as a material that other, other materials can't easily do? Now for that, I started looking at one of my favorite architects and engineers, Felix Candela. Candela was a pioneer of thin shell reinforced concrete structures. And what he did better than anyone else is create some of the lightest, most efficient and beautiful concrete structures that anyone has ever seen. I began my design by creating this simple saddle shaped surface, also known as a hyperbolic paraboloid. Now this shape for concrete is extremely efficient because it eliminates most of the tensile forces and puts the concrete in compression. The idea for the design is that this will be a modular piece of furniture, so I can create one mold which in turn can create multiple concrete units that can link together to create either a stool or a bench, a coffee table or even a dining table. So once I had the geometry of the piece worked out, I then had to figure out how to create the mold. To do that, I decided to CNC mill a two-piece mold from multiple layers of two-inch thick foam. Once I had all the pieces ready to go, I used Autodesk's Fusion 360 to generate the tool paths for the CNC to cut out each piece. Once I had all the pieces cut out from the CNC, I glued them together with wood glue and let them dry overnight. I then cut off all the jagged edges on the outside of the mold to make sure it was a perfect cube. I also gave the inside of the mold a quick sand to remove any roughness left from the CNC. I coated the inside surfaces with Vaseline, which make it much easier to remove the concrete from the mold once it's cured. I also used wire mesh as miniature structural reinforcement. I then mixed the concrete, poured it in through the top of the mold and shook it vigorously to make sure the concrete filled the entire cavity. So this was a bit of a rush job as I had to try and finish it in time for the competition deadline. But having said that, I think the design shows a lot of promise and uh, over the coming weeks I'm going to be refining it, uh, I'll make new moulds and I'll try and make multiple units to see how they aggregate together. So if you're interested in these design and fabrication style videos, I've also done a series about a bent plywood chair that I'm uh, designing and fabricating at the moment, so you can check that out on my channel as well. Uh, thanks for watching.